Outside. Pay your check first. I'll pay later. You won't be able to. Hello, my friends, and thank you for tuning back in. This is going to be episode 99. Yes, that's correct. I made already 99 videos in two and a half months. So, yeah, almost three months. So, not too bad. I try to do one video a day, but sometimes I just don't have the time to do it. And, uh, you know, and uh, stuff comes up during the day. But anyway, today we're going to go back to Jameson Irish whiskey. I got several of them already. And now I'm going to review Jameson Black Label, uh, Black Barrel, not Label. <laughs> now, this specific Black Barrel thing is, uh, they take a barrel, then they take a flame drawer to it and shackle those, the, the wood from the inside, you know, two or three times on each barrel and then they fill it with uh, dreamers and whiskey. Uh, you would think that you get the color out of that, but that's not true. This thing is colored. I guarantee you that 100%. I mean, dreamers is around since the 1700s, you know, they know what they're doing, but you cannot fool aging a whiskey, you know. Uh, a two, three or four year old whiskey does not look like that even if you put them in bourbon barrel. This, what that is, bourbon barrel. So, long story short, it is a selling point. Uh, the research has shown and tests have shown and talking to people, you know, doing surveys and stuff, that when a whiskey looks darker, it looks more appealing to the consumer and they buy it more than uh, a simple, you know, non-colored whiskey. It just doesn't look ripe enough in the opinion of the people who buy it. I mean, I never personally cared if uh, a whiskey has color in or not. Like for example here, this is a 12 year old one. Now look at that color, you know. It's colored, you know. 12 year olds don't look like that. Shivers is 12 years old, it's colored, you know. It's just the way it is here. Yeah. This is non-colored, 15 years old, and you can see a difference, you know. So the coloring, it's a, they call it 105 or 101, 105, yeah, or 104. It, it's just a food coloring, you know. It's tasteless, it's odorless. So in my opinion, it's, it's not a big deal, you know, if, if, if something is colored or not. Uh, to avoid it, just color the bottle. You don't know, you know what I mean? It looks dark already as it is, or here, you know? You don't need to mess around with coloring. But anyway, let's go to the nose, you have a drink, and see what we got here. It's a nice stopper. I reviewed all the other Jameson. I like Jameson. It's a very simple, it's a very easy to drink whiskey, all of them. E even this year's a cold brew and the IPA and stuff. But a regular Jameson, uh, like yeah, this one here, it's a very simple whiskey. You can drink neat or you can mix it, you know. Uh, nothing wrong with. So I, I actually had only one bad Irish whiskey, which was proper 12. Let me get the bottle here. Proper 12. That one was really bad. I did not like it and I would not drink it again, you know. So that was a big no-no for me. But the Jameson brands, they're, they're really good whiskey. I like them. Let's see the Black Barrel, what it does. Uh, price point, this is one of the more expensive ones. I think it was $32 compared to $22, $23, you know. Okay, my friends, let's go to the nose. But before that, I want to say thank you for the new subscribers. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Tell your friends about it. And don't forget to like the video too when you watch a video. It's very important for the algorithm of Google. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay, my friends, let's go to the nose first. Oh, <laughs> wow. Bourbon, bourbon. 
the bourbon, the, the, the smell comes from the bourbon barrel because they're finishing up their, their whiskey in bourbon barrel, double shot, you know, so you don't get any color out of it, but you get some uh, uh, spiciness out of the burned barrels on the inside. Yeah, you definitely smell the, the bourbon barrels. Fruit, you smell some dry fruit and some vanilla, a lot of vanilla, but I know that already before. James and all got a lot of vanilla in. And if I'm not mistaken, they're using European oak barrels, white oak, and also a French sherry cask. They're using that too. I just don't know right now in what configuration for what brand. But here they're using bourbon barrels. It's, it's a pleasant smell, it's not bad, but you, you don't expect the, 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 the bourbon smell so quick in your nose. Especially if you're new to uh, Jameson whiskey, you're drinking all those and you think, oh, they're very mellow. And now you're getting up in a class in, in terms of intensity, you know what I mean? So it, it, it's different, it, it's nice. So it's a, it's a step up. Okay, let's go to the taste, my friends. Cheers to you guys. Thank you. Thank you for being a subscriber. Classic bourbon taste, strong, strong vanilla, oak, uh, dark chocolate, bitter chocolate, you know, the, the, like the baking chocolate when you bake a cake, not sweet at all, no sweetness, no. You definitely taste the oak the, and the, the, burnt, the burnt wood, you taste that. It's it's good. It's a good whiskey. I like it. Yeah, the the finishing is it stays with you. It does not disappear as fast. It stays. I'm not sure if I get spices in here like cinnamon and things like that. Yeah, they burnt Shark again, the shakos, yeah. The shako. Really, really good. Yeah, if, if you're into into burnt like a burnt steak, the black stuff on the steak, when when you take a bite out of it, when you got a burnt shark shako in your mouth, that's how it tastes. It's it's barbecue burn taste a hot dog a brat whatever you you put in it on your outside grill and this burns a little bit this is how it tastes so it's a it's a unique taste it, not even close to any of those it's it's a good taste i like it If I would know this is an Irish whiskey, I would think it's a, it's a classic bourbon, you know, from Kentucky. It's really good. And I'm not a bourbon drinker. I'm, I'm a scotch drinker. I just started recently reviewing bourbons here from Kentucky on Tennessee and stuff. And I kind of like them, you know, there's only one so far I didn't like. Jim Beam White. <laughs> who, who does, you know. But this one here is a good one. I would put it in a, in, a, in a category bourbon, even it's an Irish whiskey, but the way they distilled it, it turns into kind of like a bourbon tasting whiskey. So it's nice. Uh, price point and quality wise, uh, with 10 being the best on a scale of 1 to 10, I easily give that a 7, you know. It's not bad, it's, it's good. There's nothing wrong with, gonna be a staple in my bar here with all my other Jamesons, it's really a pleasant surprise, actually. I, I, it's a pleasant surprise. It tastes stronger than it looks, also. I mean, uh, 
the deepness, the depthness that comes out of it is really impressive. So I recommend it. It's, it's a good whiskey. So it's nothing wrong with if you're into bourbon and Irish whiskey and you want to get the middle point, I would say that's it. You know, the black barrel. So that, I think they did it right, the way they did they distilled this stuff. So it's pretty good. Okay, my friends, I think that it should show you what I think about it. It gives you an idea if you want to go out and buy the bottle and don't want to waste 30, 32 dollars. So you get a slight idea what you can expect when you drink that. And let me know if you have experienced that whiskey. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it, you know. And then we can go from there and can debate it if you want to. <laughs> I got nothing else to do. Okay, my friends, thank you for viewing. Come back soon. I'm going to upload more videos. Until then, I'm Papa. This is Papa's Bars. Bye-bye.